Hi, my name is Alex. I'm an MS survivor. Um, I'm also a personal trainer, helping others to help themselves. Suffering with MS has obviously affected me in many ways. Um, how it all started off was when I went to a physiotherapist for an unrelated treatment and every time I bowed my head down uh, there was like a, a shudder or some sort of vibration in my spinal cord. Um, she obviously didn't realize what it was. I don't really fault her for it but at the same time that was one of the symptoms that I only recognized not too long ago. Another symptom that I suffered from was um, my eyesight became very blurry and when that came about I had no clue what it is. The optician, they told me that there was clouding on my lens. I was quite worried. I was still quite young. I was only 23 at the time, so it was all quite new to me. But also with this clouding on the lens, they actually misdiagnosed me and said I had a cataract. Uh, at this stage, I was very confused because how could I be so young with cataract? Uh, they actually called this term optical neuritis. Um, after this phase continued, they put me through for an MRI scan. With this MRI scan now, they put me for several of them, not quite sure what they were seeing, what activities were going on in my brain, but they knew that something was going on. In the midst of that, I was also suffering from bilateral foot drop. So anytime I was reaching a level of fatigue and I was running, I would fall over or I would lose balance or something along those lines. From there, they were still quite confused, but they said, no, we're going to get you for a lumbar puncture. And obviously that sealed the deal for them and they were able to diagnose me with multiple cirrhosis. This was in 2017. And ever since then, I knew that I'd have to take a different route to life in order to improve my quality of life. Now, with that, I've been on three types of medication, two of which have failed, and the third I'm still taking to the present day. With that, the side effects aren't really ideal, where your skin can become raised, or you have a burning, tingling sensation after taking this medication in whatever injection site that you take it in. This is all a new kind of lifestyle to me and I won't ever get used to it, but it's how I have to live until I find a better way to manage my condition. Because to have a relapse again and ever be in a wheelchair, boy, I, I couldn't really speak of it, of how I would feel. I've been there and yeah, I came back. I taught myself how to walk again, or being in physiotherapy, exercising, training and so on and so forth but again it's something that i wouldn't wish on anyone that's why right now my narrative is to help others to help themselves that is the main thing for me for them to take the initial step and i'll come in and i'll help them helping others to help myself by training the way i do when i do my sessions with others, with my clients, whether they're able-bodied or whether they suffer with some sort of disability. I'll always be inclined to help them because that's just in my nature. The way in which I do this is by personal training, helping to inspire, motivate and push others, regardless of whether they're able-bodied or in the same situation or worse than me. I feel like incorporating a healthy lifestyle, diet, activity, all of that good stuff is important to everyone. It doesn't matter whether you work a nine to five job or you're a gym junkie. You can literally go out, be active, be healthy, choose a better route to life. I follow a vegan diet, a plant-based diet as clean as possible to help me overcome my multiple cirrhosis. I know this is difficult. Many times I've gone out and there's very few options for me to eat. However, 
at the same time, you just have to adapt and make the best out of a worse situation. Some things you can control, other things you can't control. I never opted into this lifestyle, but I'm not gonna be niche and say this lifestyle chose me. But at the same time, I will say that I'm making the best out of a worse situation. When you have multiple cirrhosis, don't be afraid to push yourself, to challenge yourself, to push your boundaries, to make sure that you're 1% better the following day, you know? But nevertheless, if you did want to follow me or have sort of any sort of inquiry for help, training sessions, anything of the lot, if you were to find me on Instagram at wok.works, W-O-K dot W-O-R-K-S. And literally, if you just drop me a message, you voice your opinion, your issue, your inquiry, anything of the sort, and I'll get back to you in a timely manner.